what's up good people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is tracy i am tracy and welcome to herself tracy ganda so last week we talked about how to buy goods from alibaba.com from china and ship them to uganda and if you haven't watched the video i'm going to link it up up here or here so make sure you watch it okay so today this thursday we are going to talk about how to ship those goods after you bought them from alibaba.com to your country for sale for free but you had that right how you can ship your goods from china to your country for free due to this event you cannot go to work so many people are not working so online business seems like the way to go so if you're trying to invest into online business then please watch that video and this is i'm going to teach you how you can ship those goods from china to uganda i've been thinking our thursdays should be called money thursdays how what do you guys think let me know in the comment section because um next week i'm planning to make you guys a video up, uh, on how you can make money online like side hustles that i do and you can do from all over the world so if you're new here and this is your first time here make sure to subscribe like comment down below but let's get started so the different ways of shipping goods from alibaba to your country are two ways there are two ways there is air transportation and sea transportation air transportation is faster it takes uh, a week as soon as the manufacturer sends your goods from their store to the shipping company in China, to their work, to the warehouse of the shipping company in China, it takes almost a week from that warehouse to your country. And for sea transport, it takes three weeks to a month, depending on the shipping company that you use. So you have to ask questions, you have to ask your agent, your shipping agent. And I'm going to be sure to leave some of the agents down below so that you guys can get contact with them the first means of shipping your goods from china to your country which by the way is the fastest is air transport but you have to keep into consideration that while using air transport you cannot ship some items so you need to ask your shipping agent just to make sure but i'm sure that they do not ship liquids most of them do not ship things with batteries so you have to make sure before you uh, purchase your goods and send them to your agent you have to make sure that your agent can ship those items for you and the most important detail for using sea transportation is knowing the weight and the size of your goods which includes length width and the height because that's what they use to determine the prices that you need to pay for your shipping unlike air transport you can almost ship anything using sea transportation as long as they are relatively heavy but the downside is that your shipping company will most likely tell you to pay for the taxes at your country's revenue authority so keep that in mind i'm sorry i lost the clip of me explaining this alibaba.com always gives you a tracking code that you can use to ship alibaba.com always gives you a tracking code that you can use to track your goods and know where they have reached within china so alibaba will ship your items from their warehouse or their factory onto the, uh, the agent's warehouse so they will give you the tracking code so within that process you will know when your items reach the agent and it usually takes about three to four days within china because maybe if the factory is in northern china and the shipping companies in southern china they have to ship the goods from there to your agent so it usually takes three to four days for the shipping agent to receive your items and likewise the shipping agent can give you a tracking code for your items when they're shipped from the shipping company to your country so you can also keep tracking them and know when they've arrived especially for sea transportation because it takes a long time so you can now you can keep on tracking it and know all right now it's in nairobi it's in da da da, -da it's in da, da 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 it's from this spot to this spot so guys that's it for shipping your goods from china to your country and i'm going to answer some of the questions that i've received some people sent me emails and instagram dms but if you do not follow me on instagram i'm going to also link it down in the description box so make sure you connect with me let's connect 
So some of the questions that I received were um, can I get can I contract corona through the things that I received from China to my country? No, that's not true. You cannot because outside the human body the virus can be survive for more than four hours, yeah? And then the next question I received was how can I find the public cinema? Like I told you in the previous video up here, you want to check the reviews, the sellers' reviews, like what are people saying about this particular Next, you want to know, does this seller accept to send me samples? The other thing is, what's the minimum quantity of goods that you can buy? Yeah? You want to know all those factors because if you have only $100 to invest in your business and the seller is talking about 5,000 goods, you cannot buy all of them. So you have to know. So most of you have been waiting for this part because I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you can ship your goods for free. How is this free? Some people are going to be like, Patricia, how is all this for free? So most of these shipping companies that I'm going to link down below, you pay for your goods after they arrive. So you buy yourself some sweet time to relax as your goods come. So I'm not saying it's for free. Keep your money and be ready to repay. <sighs> so, We've come to the end of this video. If you've reached this far, please send me a smiley down in the comment section below. And if you think what I've said is going to be of help to you, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And do not forget, I'll be posting another video on Sunday and all Thursdays. So see you guys. Bye-bye.